Hey guys, Moidog here, and today I'm going over Beta 18, with what appears to be the next patch to Squad. You can play it by updating your Squad public testing app on Steam, but based on the brief patch notes that was posted by Karm in the official Discord, Beta 18 doesn't seem to be that giant patch that we've been looking for for a full Squad release. However, it is bringing us quite a bit of map optimizations, the removal of a lot of the fog that was introduced with helicopters back in V16, a vehicle cleanup system for those that are abandoned on the battlefield, as well as one huge change to the game, the removal of right, Buddy Rally down. for conventional down. factions. Now let's first take a look at the map changes, since the devs have fixed my most frustrating part of V16, fog. I mentioned this back in the V16 update video, but many of the maps have had a thick layer of fog applied to them in order to help with helicopter rendering and optimization. This has resulted in some maps, namely Talil Outskirts, having visibility reduced to about 800 meters. This is incredibly frustrating for the overall feel of the map, since Talil is known for mixing infantry and long distance vehicle combat. With the fog, vehicles would seemingly disappear. This has changed, for the most part. As you can see, fog as a whole has been greatly reduced. There is still some fog out in the distance, but visibility on Talil outskirts has been improved from about 800 meters to well over 1500 meters. For testing purposes, I placed a tank on Hangar 7 at the airbase. Although you can just barely make it out at over 1500 meters, you can definitely see the shading and outline of the tank if you're looking hard enough especially if you add in the fact that more often than not, it might be firing shells, you'll see a bunch of dust and rounds kick off. This is a huge improvement back to the type of gameplay that Talil was known for, and I'm really excited to see that it's introduced into the game. Now, when we add in a full 80 player server, some lag, a bunch of vehicles and explosions on the map, I'm not quite sure how these changes are actually gonna be represented, but it's exciting to see it re-implemented anyway. I looked at a few maps with helicopters to try to compare the difference, but as you can see, I could really only see the difference in fog between Talil and Gorodok. Now, in addition to the fog change, Logar Valley has also had a complete terrain overhaul. The terrain looks great. I don't know if that will still convince me to play the map, but I've got to give it to him anyway. The next big change is the introduction of a vehicle cleanup system. This mechanic will cause vehicles to start burning after 20 minutes of being left abandoned, unused, and out of range of friendly spawns. Although we haven't gotten specifics on what the range of friendly spawns is exactly, I imagine it being within FOB or rally radius. For me, this is more controversial than the buddy rally change, as I'm of the opinion that if you do something stupid and lose a vehicle, you should have to work to get it back. However, if this is going to be implemented in part of the game, I do like that the countdown is 20 minutes. This seems like a long enough time to punish the team that lost their vehicle, while short enough to let them have another shot at using it at least once, as most games last roughly 45 minutes to an hour. Now if I could suggest one change, it's that this system should not be incorporated to invasion layers. Invasion can sometimes turn into more of a sandbox than random advances secure, with players on both sides pushing towards the enemy's back lines. In my opinion, vehicles lost during unsuccessful attacks or even careless moves should be left as is. There have been plenty of times where I've set up a defense on a back point yeah, dude, the only for the really enemy to fly right, right in with the Lodgy without Except first scouting. I'm not saying this vehicle cleanup system is rewarding this type of play, but I think it would add a bit more of a dynamic to the game and make invasion that much more strategic. Finally, we have the removal of Buddy Rally for conventional factions, meaning that the Americans, Canadians, British, and Russians no longer have the ability to place Buddy Rallies, making it unique to just insurgents and militia. I think this is a really interesting change, and I like where the devs are going with it. Although I wasn't in the camp that thought Buddy Rally was frequently abused, I do think that by limiting it to unconventional forces, it will completely change the way in which all factions fight. This was kind of hinted back at Fuzzhead's dev blog a few months ago, where he was talking about how certain commander abilities would be varied depending on the factions. We've seen some mortar and artillery differences, as well as a big UAV compared to the handheld UAV, but there is also talk of a type of tunnel system. But we do have uh, plans to make the unconventional factions, the insurgents and militia, have quite a bit different um, commander powers. Um, but we've, we've talked about a couple different things, like a civilian uh, a supply run that uh, fills up your fobs, uh, or 
more like a underground tunnel attack where the commander can set a set of rally points like a tunnel so they can have a sneak attack. Perhaps this is seeing if this tunnel system will actually work and we might have Buddy Rally gone completely in the future. Either way, I'm liking the variety between the factions. Currently, the meta is one or two fobs are all focused on the forward points, typically a defensive fob and attacking fob with the ability to coordinate waves of pushes with these Buddy Rallies. I expect the Beta 18 meta to evolve into one where more sparsely placed fobs are common in order to create more team spawns for conventional forces. If we take an example of, let's say, Al Basra Invasion, I'd expect games against the unconventional forces to no longer be complete stomps if the attackers get the first couple points in quick succession. Removing the ability for attackers to buddy rally will mean that taking out a fob could have huge implications. Poorly placed or undefended fobs could result in an entire enemy team having to reset for main, resulting in much more time for the defenders to reorganize and reset. I'm really interested in seeing how this mechanic plays out on a wide variety of maps, since one or two playtests is really not going to give us a good feel for it. Well, that's about it for Beta 18, or at least the current playtest patches we have it now. I did notice a few things that I thought were different, such as the removal of the text at the bottom right of the map stating what layer the current map is, maybe a way to prevent people from preempting certain cat points, as well as a brand new skin for the Russian lodges and transports in certain map layers. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more squad content, and comment below your thoughts on the gameplay changes coming in the next update. But that's it for me. Peace.